look like such a boy today? What is it? What is different? I just feel like I look like a pubescent boy. I sound like one too. Morning guys, today is Wednesday and Wednesday is going to have its own vlog today because I have some fun and exciting and interesting things to do today that I wouldn't normally do on a day to day basis. This morning I have a meeting, in fact before I start I've just had a delivery and it came in this box and I was like what is that, what is that, I haven't ordered anything, nobody's been in touch about you know brand thing or anything and then it's Yakov! Yakov arrived three months later. Hello Yakov, welcome to the family. Can I just say how amazingly high quality these plushies are from CompareTamirka.com These are, oh he comes out, that's cool. Look, oh he's really soft and I have no shame in admitting that last weekend I actually bought my car insurance so naturally I ordered another one. This time around I went for baby Oleg. I nearly said baby Olaf because Olaf's the name of my car but yeah I went for Oleg because oh, Yakov is so cute. He is definitely, he is right up my street. He's the toy maker and I thought he was adorable. So I'm just going to sit Yakov there and he can open today's vlog with you guys. So yeah back to the point. Um, this morning I have a meeting. I don't really want to go outside because it's going to absolutely rinse it down at some point. The skies are grey, it's not pretty. But I have a meeting with a client about some work that I'm doing. She actually got in touch a couple of weeks ago and she's actually a reflexologist and she asked if we could meet up to have a chat and go over the brief that the work that she's got in mind but she's also offered me a treatment too so I'm going to go over and meet her this morning I'm going to leave in about half an hour and I'm actually quite nervous because I'm not the type of person to have treatments done for anything I've never had my eyebrows done I think I had my eyelashes tinted when I was about 13 because I didn't want to wear mascara um, so my mum suggested because my next door neighbour was a beautician at the time um, she was like, do you want to get your eyelashes tinted, then you don't have to wear mascara, and that's the only sort of treatment I've ever had. I've never been waxed, obviously I've had my hair cut, but I've never been tanned, waxed, plucked, sprayed. Yeah, I'm not used to being touched by other people, I know that sounds a bit dodgy, but yeah, that's just me. So that's this morning, and I thought when I get home, I'll tell you all about that. And then I'm heading off to Leicester to meet Abby, because she has very kindly invited me to a dinner event thing. I think it's a press event tonight at somewhere called the Head of Steam in Leicester. They are doing um, a press night, and there's like loads of new vegan stuff available, apparently, so... We're going to go and try that out. I look like some kind of feral bird today, right? Before I forget, I was tagged in something last night, you guys, that it melted my heart so much. This is one of my amazing, lovely, beyond talented um, subscribers and Instagram followers. Her name's Lucy. She is a tattoo artist and an artist and just overall amazing creative and I remember a while ago actually she said can I paint you and I was like yes by all means please do and she did and look at this this melted my heart last night I hope that's like I'm trying to hold it still but you know I have no strength in my arms whatsoever but she drew this for me and tagged me in it last night and wrote the sweetest caption but um, if you want to read the whole thing I'll link her Instagram down below but look how talented she is <laughs> and it's definitely my hair. I can't believe how accurate the hair is. Just trying to scrape my hair back just now has reminded me of this drawing, this painting, this beautiful piece of artwork. And I cannot believe that someone would want to take the time out of their day to paint my face. But look at this. Isn't it amazing? I had a little happy dance and a cry and a sob and just I had a big smile on my face for the whole of last night so thank you so much to Lucy for doing that for me. I was absolutely blown away. She is so talented and I can't stop looking at it. I've shown my mum as well. I was like look mum, mum look. So speaking of letters and artwork and all that jazz, something I forgot to mention about Patreon is I've wanted a PO box for quite some time. I know my channel is quite small, but a lot of you have come forward and say and said like, can we write to each other? I know my channel is quite small and it doesn't really warrant a PO box, but a lot of you have actually said in the past, would can we write to each other? And I've thought for a while, should I get a PO box? But they are quite expensive. I think you have to pay out for them yearly from what I've done research on, and I think it's like a minimum of £200. So again, this is what I'm hoping Patreon might help us to achieve as a channel, as a small 
artistic community if we don't get there then that's absolutely fine email is you know just as exciting but there's something about snail mail isn't there and a lot of you have said in the past can I write a letter to you and I'd love to have letters you guys and I'd love to write back to you but I think a PO box would be the safest way for us all to sort of do that but yeah that's another reason why I've started and I've set up a Patreon so if you are interested the link is down below but please don't feel like you have to do anything as with the Kickstarter don't feel pressured into doing anything it's just an additional option for you guys right I'm gonna bounce off now and get myself dressed because I need to leave in like 20 minutes to go and meet reflexology lady and I'll be back shortly to let you know how it went hello everyone I've just got back from having my reflexology <sighs> I feel revitalized I've never had my feet massaged or had any treatment whatsoever I've never had a massage you guys which a lot of people can never seem to understand about me I think most people at some point in their lives have been for a massage what a treat I've also just heard from the printers now this has taken a bit longer than I'd hoped because it's obviously been Easter weekend loads of things have um there's been a couple of delays with the printers that's been totally out of my hands but they are meant to be arriving tomorrow so I'm going to be filming the whole experience like the unboxing and stuff I'll probably be doing um, Instagram stories as well so I'll be doing that tomorrow at some point or even Friday it depends what I get up to tomorrow if they arrive <laughs> don't even get me started Yakov's here though keeping me company aren't you Yakov? I think Yakov could probably be a new channel mascot what say you? do you want to? Do you want to be on the channel a bit more? Is it going to stop raining today? Oh, I don't want to walk through Leicester in this. Look at it. Me. Me, me, me. I've just got a bit of an unboxing, unbagging for you. This is an order from another small business and I thought I'd share it on camera with you guys. Look how cute this washi tape is. Isn't it adorable? It's got little pandas on it. This is from a brand called In A Box. If you've been on my channel since probably this time last year, you may remember seeing this one, which this one is called the unisex pin. What if I show it to you that way? Can you see it better that way? There we go. This is called the unisex pin, which I think is hilarious. It's unicorns. It's actually a seconds pin from the Etsy shop. So that means it's got slight imperfections but if I'm quite honest with you guys I can't see any imperfections on this pin and the other day I was like I'd like to um, buy a few things from a couple of designers because I just wanted to show my support really I've gone for another seconds pin basically because they're a little bit cheaper but it also helps the creators to get rid of the stock that isn't quite perfect I know how frustrating it is when you do get deliveries and sometimes things aren't quite perfect and you've just got it on your hands so even if you want to buy seconds things from creators it helps them to just shift it whilst also getting a bit of money from it at the same time so the shop is called in a box and this is the packaging it's very very cute I love her logo it's so sweet. I believe her name's Nikki that runs this shop. Oh you guys, so the one that I went for is this one. And yet yeah, again, to be quite honest, I can't see any proper imperfections on this pin apart from a tiny tiny mark on his face, but you literally cannot see it. So I'm just gonna show you guys now. So cute. So this one is called Cat Scan and I think it's adorable it's very Halloween-y it's a rubber backed pin as well which I think are becoming a lot more popular and I think they're a bit more trustworthy oh it's so cute oh Nikki she's put another one in here oh it's so cute look at this this one is like a little cat watermelon slash rainbow either way it's adorable and I've decided to start building a pin collection because I'm seeing pins everywhere at the moment guys I'm seeing loads and loads of pins and I kept thinking to myself do I start my own collection because I'd really like to but at the same time I'm like um um I don't know there was just something stopping me but I've decided now that I would really like to start collecting pins so that's what's going to happen the only other two that I have apart from the three that I've just shown you is this avocado one 
from Punky Pins that one of my friends got for me when I left my job last year so I have that one and then I have this one too which a friend brought back from Walt Disney World Florida it's the Cheshire Cat, it's still on its backing board, I've not took it off but yeah it's this Cheshire Cat one from Walt Disney World Florida so I have five pins now, oh and she's also popped a little, <laughs> this is amazing, a little sticker in which says twat on it which I think is perfect I love that word twat. Yeah, I'll link her shop below if you fancy checking it out. There are a few sale things going on right now and some seconds pins and what have you but yeah I'll link it below. One day soon you guys I'm gonna have this camera fixed but until then oh, it's on a tripod and it's driving me crazy that I can't just whip my camera out like I used to walk around the house talk to you guys I have to come and set up. <laughs> Why? I think I think I might send, basically what's happening is I've got the screen, I've had it for a couple of weeks now but I don't dare take the camera to bits myself so my father-in-law has said that he'll do it for me but it's um, handing my camera over so I've just been finding a good time to have, you know, be without a camera for a week. I do have my SLR that films so I don't think I'll be too... Um, bum screwed without my camera but I do feel quite lost without it I think I might hand it over either this weekend or sometime next week but I need to find my lens cap because I don't know where it is genuinely do not know where my lens cap is um, for this camera because I walk around with it so much and I take it to so many places well, it feels like I do um, I, I misplace my lens cap a lot it's not lost technically it is but I don't know where it is right now so um, I'm just, I'm looking around my desk expecting to just see it and I know that's not going to happen. I don't know where it is. I'm just getting ready to leave though. I was going to go, sorry I'm just closing everything down on my computer. I was going to go to one of the craft shops and get some cards and bits but it's done nothing but rain since I last spoke to you. And the thought of having to get out of the car and stuff, I'm just being lazy and I'm like I don't really want to go to the craft shop today. I'm just going to leave half an hour later than I'd planned to. And then I'm going to go and pick Abby up from somewhere, <laughs> I don't know where, and then, and then we're going to go to this place in Leicester for some food. I'm excited. I think I've got like five, ten minutes spare right now, so I think I might have a bit of a scout round for the lens cap. Because if I can find it now, that would be grand, because I'm going out with the camera. But if not, balls to it. Balls. Do you know what's funny as well is I always take my lens cap off the camera, some washi tape there, I always take it off the camera and I put it somewhere and I say to myself, I'll leave it there because that's safe and I'll remember. Do I? Do I balls? Do I balls? And I didn't think I was going to be extending the vlog um, past Wednesday because I've not done any work. It's been a bit of a unusual vlog, I guess, because I'm not really showing any artwork. I thought I'd update you guys on and just get this off my chest because I'm so angry right now. I'm so angry. Last night was great, by the way. Um, I hope you enjoyed the small amount of footage I managed to get from mine and Abby's evening at the Head of Steam in Leicester. If you're ever passing or in the area highly recommend it. I really enjoyed myself and thank you to Abby for inviting me along. I don't think I've laughed so much, so hard for such a long time so I really enjoyed myself. Anyway, but today I thought yeah I'll get my sister around because I've got to stay in all day today because I'm waiting for the tote bag delivery. Now these tote bags, you guys, I'm really excited to get them but it's been an absolute joke so far. And I just wanted to fill you guys in and basically explain to you a bit more about why this is taking so long. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, I was corresponding with the printers to make them aware that I was going to be placing a pretty big order. I mean, compared to some people, a hundred odd tote bags isn't that much, but to me, it's a big order, it's a lot of money. I spent over £500 
with these printers to get these tote bags made so you know I'm a bit like I told them and made them aware of the fact that I wanted to place a big order and asked them are these designs suitable for your tote bags blah 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 and they said yeah 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 but because you have that many designs on that many coloured tote bags because they're all different it wasn't as straightforward as just placing the order online with one design on one coloured tote bag let's just have some tea and breathe so it took two weeks for the money to be in my account so that I could get the ball rolling for you guys and get your tote bags out to you so I emailed them, said, got the money, can I place my order now, you've got my designs, everything is good to go. And it took two more days for someone to actually say, right, this is how you pay. So I paid up on the 22nd of March, and then they said that it would be within eight working days. So, you know, it's been eight working days. It was eight working days yesterday, I believe. So yesterday was Wednesday, it got to Tuesday, and I'd still not heard so much as a dispatch note. So bearing in mind, yesterday was the eighth working day, and I've not even had a dispatch note on Tuesday. I was like, I'm just going to chase this up with them. I chased it up with them, I was like, have you dispatched my order yet? They said, no, it's being dispatched tomorrow and it will be delivered on Thursday. Now there's me like, that's annoying, but you know, it's progress and we're nearly at the end. So today I've waited in all day, didn't even have a dispatch email from them, which is, you know, just complete and utter, but I'm just like, can you not just communicate, please? It's more okay, careless and just chill out. I mean, I'm not the world's best communicator. It's not like I'm perfect or anything, but when it comes to stuff like this, especially when you are spending so much money, with somebody and they don't so <sighs> yeah it got to today and they said expect um, a text or an email from the courier service and you'll be able to you know correspond with them you know leave in a safe place or choose a delivery slot time and usually I get these quite a lot because I order stuff online all the time and usually I get a text message in the morning, no later than like 10 o'clock, saying we're going to deliver between this time. And it's usually, whatever, whatever courier service it is, it's always usually nowhere like after 10 o'clock in the morning. So it got to like half 10 this morning and I was like, I just have a feeling, I had a feeling this morning it wasn't going to be delivered. So I emailed them again and I was like, which courier service are you using can you give me a tracking number and then the printer said we don't provide tracking numbers because it's royal mail and they don't give us a tracking number so i'm like fizzing i'm fizzing you guys because if they lose my order or they just don't ship my order you can be quiet thank you very much if they lose the order or they just decide not to ship the order and they claim that they delivered it and it never arrived or whatever there's no tracking number for over, for over 500 pounds worth of stock and I'm just like I'm a small business this is a big deal to me so I emailed them again I was like look um, I didn't take it out on the person I was emailing I was just like, I want to give some feedback to the head of department or whatever for communications and delivery that this is not acceptable I've spent a lot of money with you guys I could have gone elsewhere but I chose you because you are meant to be amazing and then as soon as I emailed them I got a text message and an email from DPD saying we're going to deliver your parcel tomorrow and I'm there like so it's meant to be coming tomorrow Friday that's when DPD have said they're going to deliver my parcel and then a few hours later I got a dispatch email from Awesome Merchandise and meanwhile I've been emailing them too saying is it today, is it tomorrow, why is this happening I also phoned them, they said it was dispatched yesterday for delivery today so I phoned them and I've been emailing them and then about an hour ago I got another email from them saying sorry it was only just dispatched now, today I feel like I'm letting people down and I know, I know you guys are going to come forward and say don't worry you're not letting people down I know a lot of you have been leaving comments like please don't worry about it we're totally patient it's fine and you guys have been amazing anyone else I think would have been like do you know what this is unacceptable it's taking too long now because I started this kickstarter at the start of February and it's now April and I thought I'd left enough time um, between you know having the money and getting everything printed I left over like more than enough time well I thought anyway to get everything finalised and that's why I said everything will be with you by the end of March because the kickstarter was a month long and we've had the whole of March to transfer money and get stuff ordered and it's still not here obviously there was also Easter weekend too which has delayed things a bit 
but even still it's been tomorrow will be the 10th working day so the fact that I haven't yet got these tote bags is just winding me up now and I'm just so frustrated that we haven't got them I took Abby some of these last night oh yeah because I'm a freaking a legend oh and something else they did this is the weirdest bit yet you guys so I sent them my artwork and I uploaded the artwork to their system and then <clears throat> and then I was like please I'm spending a lot of money with you please send me proofs before you press go on the printers and they sent me the proofs back and they changed the artwork they'd removed certain borders and certain outlines they just removed them and I firstly I was like it must be me I must have not sent the files over in the correct format I was like what's happened there do you know what can I do to rectify this and they were like no we removed the borders why don't do that I've sent you the artwork I want it doing like that oh we, we didn't think it was meant to be there so we removed it what why would you do that so yeah I had to then get them to change back four different pieces of artwork two of them were still wrong by the time they gave them to me again um so when was it it got to like late last week and I still hadn't heard anything and I was like can you give me an update on my order please and they said yeah it's not even gone to print yet it's going to print next week as in this week so I think my order was only printed on Tuesday this week you guys because obviously it's been Easter bank holiday so I think it was only printed this week as well but it's, ta it's just taken the absolute peace this whole thing and I'm like can you not please hello what can you do though what can you do but never fear you guys I have a relaxing video coming for you this weekend not a weekly vlog I just thought I'd mix things up a bit and um, sometimes do weekly vlogs sometimes not sometimes do daily vlogs I will give you an update on the tote bags and I'll be on insta stories as well no doubt giving you guys unboxings and behind the scenes and stuff this dog's gone to sleep oh has he? I can see it. oh no he just went I just thought I'd update you guys and tell you all about why it's taking so long but I do have a chill out video coming for you this weekend so never fear let me know your thoughts on this whole printer situation I'm just frustrated I think, I'm just fed up now, I just want it all to be over. I'm going to shoot off anyway you guys and leave you to it but I'll be back this weekend with a video for you all. I hope you all have an awesome end to your week and I'll speak to you all very very soon. Bye!